Good evening, Ganja with Grinner. Uh, stopped by Mountain View Cannabis today and picked up some Quest uh, ex-wife hybrid. I don't know why you'd want to call your shit ex-wife as a guy who's a, uh, sorry, camera thing there, yeah. Um, I don't know why you'd want to call it ex-wife uh, coming from a single dad. Um, that's kind of makes me not want to buy your product. But anyways, it has a very high THC rating. It's pre-rolls, which personally I despise. Um, and hopefully I'll show you why. Um, but I'm hoping the weed tastes good. So here's my seal. There we go. I hope there's more than one in here. But maybe just one. Fuck. That was expensive. two in there. Bonus! Sweet! Not bad. Um, I'm going to keep puffing on this while I talk about shit. So I have all my pipes set up over here. Um, and there's a lot of different stuff and a lot of different toys. And I was talking to the lady at Mountain Quest today. And um, we had some interesting conversations. I picked up this little fellow. Apparently by uh, Dabware. Has this really cool little hidden bottom I assume that's for screens, because I don't think that's enough for weed. I don't know what the hell else you'd put in there. If Dabware wants to let me know, they can, but I, I, I find it cool, but totally redundant. But it's got a nice little glass bowl. If this starts running like a motherfucker, which I expect it to, then I'm going to put it into there. But otherwise, I'm just going to keep tugging on this, which isn't bad. So um, the first thing about pipes is airflow. If you want to have a good hoot and you want to have a good time, then you need proper airflow. So the, the first and most important thing is your screen or a lack thereof. So you can go no screen, which a lot of the newer pipes, uh, like my, my nice charm glass here, which is very dirty and I can't really show you. Um, but it has three little built-in nubbins in there to catch crap and to keep it from going straight in. So I don't use a screen on that one, but on pretty much everything else I do. Um, now, with this guy, I was familiar with the, the latex, which I don't know if you knew what that is or not. Let's pop the screen out here, the bowl. But this is rubber. Well, I broke it. Look, see? Bent it. You can do all kinds of crazy shit with this thing, which is very cool. So uh, they're heat resistant. They're great for smoking in. Um, I've had one similar from the Lit brand, which was, I used for a very long time. <sighs> kind of like that. Um, the great thing about these latex pipes is they, uh, if you do like I do and you smoke in the garage, um, when it gets really cold outside, you, you just twist them and the resin pops out and it's so easy to clean. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, I was really looking forward to this one, um, but, uh, this won't stay in. It pops out constantly. I don't, do not know how many bowls I have lost. Because it just slides right and see once again the bowl's lost um so this sucked uh it had a clutch which i thought was a good feature you know it came apart which i thought would be good for cleaning um but it's got a little tiny shaft in there that collects crap like mad and it plugs right the fuck up instantly and i don't like it um so the the lit thing here um Pass this by if you see it. It, it was garbage. Um, the uh, this, this really cool little guy, Sour Diesel. Um, funky little thing. It's got the built-in glass screen, which I thought was really, really cool. 
Um, but the bowl's so damn small, trying to fill it is impossible without just, I get shit all over my hand. And the little holes plug up, and I'm really paranoid about what to shove through them without breaking the glass. Um, normally I use a toothpick. My favorite thing's honestly a fucking paper clip. I love paper clips. Um, but I don't know. It's not a bad pipe. It's got a clutch. It's got a nice draw. It's clean. Um, the bowl's a little small. If, if you don't smoke a lot and, and you don't do it very often, this would be a really nice pipe. It, it sits pretty well, you know, it, it's stable, you know, knocks over fairly easily, but you set it down and it'll stay down, which I like. Um, this little funky guy, hand carved wood, a friend of mine bought for me when he was on vacation from the country that specializes in marijuana where it's completely illegal and you have to leave your photo on the tour, <laughs> your camera on the tour cruise. Um, I love this little guy. He's he's great, but it's really small. Plugs up really easy. Really tiny bowl. All these really sweet engravings tend to hold all the weed, so it's hard to get without wasting. Um, so, I mean, it's it's a beauty piece. I love it as a collector item, but I, I almost never use it. Uh, I like this. That was Quest ex-wife that's an ex-wife i'd take back <laughs> um this is red eye glass um apparently this is uh hand-blown unique from a, a local guy that i got off shop in calgary tropicana i love tropicana i used to go there as a kid for my pins before i started smoking weed and became a bad person um this was just such a fucking cool looking piece that i couldn't really say no to it um it had a clutch which is a plus. Um, my biggest concern was with the big wide body, which if you look inside, it is a hollow piece. I don't know if you can see shit in there, but it is hollow. So there's a lot of extra airflow. And I found that it wasn't bad, but it, it I don't know, it kind of neutralized how much smoke you took in versus how much air you got off of each draw. So it's beautiful to look at, but I don't know. This might be a piece that once I clean up a little bit, maybe I'll let somebody take their hands and, uh, and give a critique on. I don't know. Um, standard corn cob. Um, they're fun. They're great. No clutch. Uh, hard to clean, especially these bits here, which do come off. So it's not too bad to clean. Um, what I highly recommend for cleaning just about any of your pipes Is these bad boys, Brigham, they're really hard to find. You got to go to a tobacconist's, <coughs> but they're a pipe cleaner with a really funky ass plastic embedded in it. Um, they can be a little bit bad for sticking resin in your pipe, but they're really good for clearing out really stubborn blockages because um, they have a nice firm double wire in there and they're, they're pretty handy in, in case of emergencies. Um, so I got this bad boy. I believe it was affectionately referred to as the Gandalf. It's a Grav brand pipe. I really liked this. It was really nice and clean to smoke off of. But once again, like I kind of figured the bend. And then as you can see, it just didn't clean. Like, I mean, normally I clean my pipes up pretty good. But you can see where the resin stayed inside and where it didn't come out. And having a really, really narrow mouthpiece like that for me is just a, I'm sorry, but you failed. I'd still give this like an 8 or a 9 out of 10 just because it's so damn nice that it chills the smoke really nice with the long draft off of it. Um, I made this one uh, probably about 25 years ago maybe, 15, 20 years ago in Buddy's Garage. Sorry, I'm looking at my shit. I'm happy with my toys. Um, but it was just a block of wood Buddy's dad had in his garage. He was a carpenter and a plumber, and he didn't know we were in his garage. Um, so uh, my friend let me do whatever I wanted to. So I took advantage of the drill press, uh, popped a couple holes in it at the right angles, took some broken plumbing, shoved that in as a mouthpiece. This is just a bolt with tape around it um, so that it would have a, a nice seal. Um, but I, don't know, I love this piece of wood. It still smokes really well. I wish I'd put a clutch in it, which I didn't. So... I'm, I'm going to give this like a 6 out of 10, even though I made the damn thing. Um, this is a bat in a dugout, what I know of. They are still around. I don't know what you guys call them now. One hitter. One hitter? All right. So 
But basic nice thing, pop it out, stick it in, twist it around, and then go. Um, obviously it's a little bit used because that's worn off. Um, these are great for a lot of different things. They used to be my favorite for concerts. Uh, very hard to find if you know where to stash it and where people don't want to look for it. Um, and this was great. I don't know how many times I snuck this thing into a bar and gone off to a corner <laughs> in the middle of a show, which I shouldn't be admitting to, but it's legal now and no one has proof of jack shit anyway, so fuck y'all. Um, same plumber's place. I made this. Definitely not attractive, um, but uh, she is functional. Um, nice wide draw. Big open, big open uh, chamber. Nice big bowl. Um, it's not the most attractive, but quite frequently, this was everybody's favorite at the party. Um, so, yeah. This is, uh, anyone who's as old as I am will automatically recognize. It doesn't have the colored graphic in there, which they all had. Um, simple little twist off. Put, put whatever picture you want in there. I used to customize my own and sell them to friends. Um, I'd go out and buy them from shops and then charge five bucks more for the shop because the picture that I put in nobody could get anywhere else um, But slide that back over there covers the ugly screw goes like that screws back in again um, Normally it's flowers or dragons or whatever. I, I used to put horror pictures in it because I'm a, a demon guy The weirdest thing that I loved about these um, is the, the little cap you have to keep it clean in order to use it but once you've got the, if you can get the cap on again, and anyone that still has one of these, let me know in the comments if you can try this. But if you light it like this, and you smoke it up instead of like that, I swear to God, it's gonna hit you twice as hard as you're used to. I do not know why. I cannot explain the physics or the graphics. Sorry, I was looking at my daughter instead of the fucking camera. But if you smoke it like this, instead of like that, I found, and all my friends agreed, that something changes. I've never been able to figure out what, I don't know, airflow, gravity, I, I don't fucking know. I'm not a smart guy, just a stoner. But if you smoke it upside down, you will be impressed with the change. So, all right, well, I smoked that down to pretty much nothing. That was tasty. I liked that. Ex-wife gets a she was all right. <clears throat> One out of ten. Um, I'd give her an eight or a nine out of ten. I didn't get to see any nuggets. It was a hybrid. So I can't go off, and I, I didn't get a crunch factor. But for a pre-roll, I got to smoke the whole thing, and it didn't run. So I'm going to give that like a nine out of ten. Because normally pre-rolls, uh, I, I hate them. I don't, it's why I have so many pipes, is because joints run, and it's such a waste of tobacco. Or not tobacco, <laughs> fucking herb. Yeah, look at me. Um, I don't know what you call this. Hey, you're stoned. It's yeah. fine. Cool. Um, but I love it. This was another favorite at concerts. Um, you can get, if you pack it properly, because the way it works is it goes all the way down to here. And then, so you, you can probably get like three grams of herb into there. And then I used to pack the top as well. So that was maybe another gram. So you could, you could fit probably damn near at least an eighth into this thing if it was ground and compacted properly. Um, it is amazingly easy to conceal. <laughs> um, you know, it is very portable. Kind of goes in, kind of goes out. The coolest thing that I found out about this, I have one handy, but not proper. You take a pop bottle, you cut this top, off right there you take this thing and I change the size it used to fit <laughs> I do not get it stoner moment I I don't get it okay anyways they used to fit perfectly right in there as a seal which I've, I don't fucking stoner moment I'm sorry but maybe it was two liters I don't know if they're different size smaller size but it would seal put it in water Light it, pull it up, take that out, and then push down, and you'll spend the next 45 minutes coughing on the floor, going, what the fuck did I just do, and why did I do that? Um, and then you'll sit on the couch and eat several bags of chips, um, if you can find the couch. 
So I don't recommend doing that. I did it once or twice at parties after I figured out it worked, which apparently it doesn't anymore. So maybe I'm full of shit. Um, now the thing that about, oh, I got to do this one. I love Chong glass. Okay. Um, this I saw in the shop. And the fact that it came with a bag, which was fucking cool. And then it is the, like, joint from the movies where Buddy has to follow his dog around because it ate his, his stash. This is called The Labrador by Cheech and Chong. And this is probably one of my favorite pipes. I'm going to give this thing a 9.5 out of 10 because I don't, I'm not sure I believe in perfect 10s. They come with perpetually refilling bowls. But it has a very nice bowl. It's got a straight draw. It's got a perfect little clutch. The design of it is so straightforward and so simplistic, and the humor and cultural content for me puts it right over the fucking top. I, I cannot, if you see this anywhere, you should buy this. This is, this is beautiful, and I love this. So the reason I went ahead and, and dropped cash on this is because I'd been, because I'm a cheap ass motherfucker. Okay, like you have no idea how cheap I am. Ask my daughter. How cheap am I? Yeah. Pretty cheap. <laughs> Pretty cheap, yeah. Um, but this thing was on sale. And I'll talk about this a little bit more as well. Because uh, as I found out in, in Calgary and in Canada, um, licensed merch with celebrities uh, is not allowed to be sold in places that sell marijuana. So if you go into an actual pot shop to, to buy some pot, even though everybody knows Cheech and Chong know their shit, we're not allowed to know that they know their shit. And we're not allowed to take advice from people who know and who have amazing products for us to purchase. We have to go to somewhere else to buy this stuff. And the fact that you can't buy this stuff in these shops is a joke. And that law needs to be changed. It would be like having to go to a liquor store and not being able to buy any of the alcohol that is endorsed or manufactured by celebrities, like fucking Crystal Skull Vodka by Dan Aykroyd, Aviation Gin by Ryan Reynolds. How many fucking celebrities have their own alcohol that we can buy at a liquor store, but we can't buy a pipe because Cheech said it's good, or Chong liked it, or fucking Snoop Dogg says it's good? That is bullshit, and that is a totally hypocritical law that can suck my balls, okay? Now, thank you for that. This pipe is amazing. I This gets pretty much 10 out of 10 for me, okay? It is pretty much one of those rare unicorns where it doesn't look like much. It looks simple, straightforward, and plain Jane, but that is why it is so amazing. It's damn near impossible to knock over because it is so flat. You know, like you gotta be really fucking out of your gourd to knock this thing over, you know? Um, it has a n just the perfect amount of draw. It's got a really nicely placed clutch so the air goes in behind the bowl. Sorry, I'm looking at the thing instead of you guys again. The, the clutch is placed behind the bowl so it forces the air forward and, and it clears the chamber perfectly. It's got just the right amount of air uh, and draw so that you can get a really nice draw and you don't have too much air, just enough weed, and then you can stop when you want to, pop it off and get a thing. And it's it's just, it's, it's amazing. And cleaning it was great. Cleaning it. Um, this pisses me off, okay? Like if you look at my other Chong glass and my other Chong glass, you know, it's still, pretty and sexy you know i went ahead and followed a lot of advice from previous youtubers and other people online um and used a lot of the other solvent based crap out there um i will admit i used to be a big fan of isopropyl alcohol um i use that to clean my pipes a lot bats is a big fan of orange chronic um i let this soak in I think ISO overnight and it, it ruined the paint, stripped it off. The decals just fucked. Um, any of your acetone, your isopropyls, any of that, while they are magnificent at cleaning glass, I won't dispute that. If you have any kind of artwork on them, like, you know, my, my soul glass has this nice thing here and then it's got this nice little image on it as well. 
You can't really see it because it's mucky, but it's got that as well. You put ISO on any of that, and you're going to lose your ink. You're going to lose your decals. They're going to come off. And your beautiful piece of art is going to end up looking like washed out crap. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. You want to listen to other people? Go ahead and listen to other people. You want to listen to me, a cheap-ass motherfucker who values and cherishes his crap, you use hot water and Dawn. Okay? Dawn, they, they wash ducks with Dawn. Okay? All right? We've all seen the fucking commercials. Okay? Dawn is about as safe as it gets. And I do not know what it is in Dawn. You'd have to ask the people who wash ducks why it is that it is amazing at separating oil and grease and resin from shit. I don't know why it is. I, I just know that it is. And it is my A number one recommended thing. And you know, it's like odds are you've got dish soap. I don't know if you're smart enough to have Dawn or not, because if not, switch brands, because it's it's really convenient when you've got that and it's multi-purpose. Um, but it's it's just Dawn and boiling water. Um, I got that really funky pipe that was soaking. I, I showed in the last video going, you're not gonna believe uh, how pretty this thing looks later on. Um, I put it in Dawn in hot water about 20 minutes ago. Um, I recommend, normally I have a Kraft peanut butter jar. It's, uh, Kraft peanut butter jars are a nice thick plastic and they can take the heat of boiling water a lot better than a lot of the other things that do, which I found actually I melted stuff by accident by putting too hot of water into it and then swirling it around for too long. Um, I, normally I do it in the house, uh, open a window and stuff, but my folks have complained about the stink if I do too many at once, so I, I kind of developed the thing. I, I, I just get the jar, fucking put it in there and swirl the bitch around for a while, you know, and leave it in there for a bit. She's been in there, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes? I would stick my hand in there, but I, I think I would get burned still. Um, the video is 22 minutes long, so it's definitely longer okay. than that, but it's Seriously? okay. All right. Fuck, didn't know I was talking that long. I'm a chatty little bitch, aren't I? That's not it. That's not it. What do you mean it's not it? It's the only thing in there, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm... Oh. I can't see it. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm playing blind grabber claw game <laughs> with pliers and a glass pipe in boiling water. Okay, let's push you. Well, how hot could it be? Oh God! Pretty hot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Promised to be comical, didn't I? For fuck's sakes, you little bitch. the resin. <laughs> it is hot still. There's definitely still a bunch of junk in there, but you know, it's only been in there for how long? Well, I'm hold her up the light again still. Ooh.
definitely still in there but there, there is a lot of stuff in there still but just more hot water and that will run loose which is like i was saying normally i run this like you can see it's fucking sludge and it's loose you know and basically all i need is more hot water and that'll run right the hell out of there i promise and i guarantee you and like that's if, if you saw this thing in the other video i i think you will go oh yeah no that's not bad and, and still, like, if I just, I don't know. Why do you want to use plastic instead of glass? Oh, my God. Because, oh, it's hot. Because <laughs> you don't want the, uh, plastic can bump against glass just fine, but glass doesn't really like bumping against glass too much. Did I mention before the, uh... <laughs> yeah, fuck off. <coughs> I agree. cold water. I also love Jack Daniels. So she's a little bubbly still. But that's Dawn in hot water. Okay? Which is pretty cheap, pretty accessible, and I would say does a pretty damn good job. And this won't harm any of your decals. And this won't harm you. And this is what I recommend you use. I mean, I know a lot of people, no offense, my bats in particular is quite par uh, partial to Orange Chronic. I have used it before. We have some over there. And it works pretty damn good. Um, just to prove I'm not lying, that's about how much we have left. Um, you know, but I, I think that stuff is, what. how much was that? 16 bucks. $16 for that size bottle. I guarantee you can get twice as much Dawn <laughs> for half as much as 16 bucks. And you only use, like I use roughly, I don't know, maybe about a one to four ratio. Like I go pretty heavy in it, I will admit. I, I'm, I don't go cheap on the Dawn. Like in this, this container here, I pretty much covered the entire bottom of it so there was probably about maybe a two to three millimeter cover on the entire bottom of that thing so maybe four or five tablespoons and then the rest of that was that much water um and what 15 minutes like i i, I put it in there just before we started the video so i didn't want to show you in case it didn't work and i ended up looking like an idiot um but no i I still say Dawn in hot water. I, I mean, 
you can go ahead and you can spend 16 bucks on Orange Chronic and, and you can go ahead and buy a bunch of acetone and, and isopropyl, uh, which I used to love, um, which is then just going to stink a lot and you're going to hate working with, um, you know, and it's, I don't know, flammable and nasty and chemically and, and stuff. Um, I saw a video by a gentleman who said it was the best video for cleaning pipes ever, um, which was really cool. I have not tried it. It was uh, involved using kosher salt and solvents and uh, electrician's tape. Um, to me, that seems a lot more elaborate than 